Ever wondered how to determine if a wound is infected using NERDS and stone ease? Well, you're not alone. Wound infections are a common and serious health concern worldwide. They can delay healing, cause further complications, and sometimes even become life-threatening. That's why early detection and appropriate treatment are vital. But how can we tell if a wound is infected? That's where NERDS and stone ease come into play. These aren't just fun acronyms. They're actually effective methods for assessing wound infections. Developed by healthcare professionals, they provide a systematic and easy-to-remember approach to identify the signs of infection. This approach is not only beneficial for medical practitioners, but also for anyone who wants to take an active role in their own or their loved one's health. So let's dive in to understand what exactly NERDS and STONIES are and how they help in determining wound infection. First up, we have NERDS, not the kind you're thinking of, but rather a clinical tool. Now, let's break down what NERDS stands for. N represents non-healing. This is when a wound isn't showing signs of improvement over time. E is exudate, or fluid that's leaking from the wound. Infections often increase the amount of exudate. R stands for red and bleeding, which are obvious signs of inflammation and possible infection. D is for debris in the wound, it may harbor bacteria that can lead to infection. Lastly, S is for smell. An unpleasant odor can be a telltale sign of infection. NERDS is a straightforward way of identifying the local signs of wound infection. It's simple, yet effective, and can be a crucial tool for healthcare professionals. Now that you have a grasp on NERDS, it's time to move on to Stone Ease. Stone Ease. Sounds peculiar, doesn't it? But it's a vital tool for identifying deep-spreading infection. Let's break it down. First up, size. If a wound is increasing in size, it's a clear sign of an active infection. Next is temperature. An increase in the wound's temperature is a common symptom of infection. Moving on to O's, which stands for probes to or exposes bone. This is a major red flag. Next, we look for new areas of breakdown. If the wound is deteriorating instead of healing, it's likely infected. Exudate or pus is another obvious sign. The last two letters stand for erythema and edema or redness and swelling, both typical signs of infection. Finally, we have smell. A foul odor can be a clear indicator of an infected wound. With Stone Ease decoded, we've covered both methods of determining local and deep spreading infection. But how do they compare? NERDS and Stone Ease, while similar, have a few key differences that are crucial to understand. As we delve into the comparison, we find that NERDS is an acronym that focuses on the surface symptoms of a wound, such as non healing, exudate increase, red and bleeding granulation tissue, debris, dead tissue, and smell. Three or more of these symptoms confirm local infection that can be treated topically with an antimicrobial. On the other hand, Stone Ease is an acronym that aims to identify deep spreading infection, more systemic signs of infection such as size increase, temperature elevation, O's, probes to bone, new areas of breakdown, increased exudate, edema, erythema, and smell. Three or more of these symptoms confirm deep spreading infection that is normally treated with oral antibiotics, along with a topical antimicrobial. NERDS and STONIES are used together during the wound assessment to determine infection. NERDS is often more suited for surface level infections, giving us a quick visible assessment. STONIES, however, is designed to catch more serious systemic signs of infection, making it essential when a deeper analysis is needed. Both, nevertheless, serve as valuable tools for healthcare professionals in detecting wound infections. So that's NERDS and STONIES in a nutshell, but let's quickly recap. Determining wound infection can be complex, but NERDS and STONIES make it easier. We've navigated through a labyrinth of information, but let's distill it down to the basics. NERDS, an acronym for non-healing, exudate, red and bleeding, debris and smell, is a tool for identifying local signs of infection. Stone Ease, on the other hand, stands for size, temperature, O's, probes to bone, new areas of breakdown, exudate, erythema, edema, and smell, and it's used to identify systemic infections. These acronyms are not just clever wordplay, but they are instrumental in diagnosing wound infections. They remind us of the key signs to look out for, making the complex process of identifying wound infections more manageable. The healthcare field places a high value on these tools, as they aid in quick identification and treatment, potentially saving lives. So next time you're faced with a wound, remember NERDS and Stony Ease. They might just help you save a life.